One of my passions is barbecue. Every weekend I'm with Team IQ, competing against the best competitors in the United States. IQ! We're in uh, Windsor, Vermont. This is the New England Regional Barbecue Championships. We are the first New England team to win the World Championships of Barbecue. Step on up, folks. We got pulled pork, we got brisket. We are the world champions. We're the only ones who can say that. There are approximately 42 teams competing for Team of the Year points, for state championship points, and for an invitation to the Jack Daniels Invitational and the American Royal. We're gunning for first place. That, that's our goal. There's 40 teams here, and I would say there's probably at least 15 of them that are legitimate contenders to win this contest. When we're competing in a barbecue competition, there's generally two areas. There's the barbecue and the grilling. The barbecue is pitmaster Chris. He really has the design and kind of the vision of where we're going to go. We've been burning Vermont sugar maple in the pit all night, and one of the things we're looking for is a clean fire. We almost don't want to see any smoke coming out of the smokestack. A clean fire gives you sweet flavors. A smoldering fire gives you bitter flavors. The turn-ins are a 10-minute window, so we have, you know, we're cooking all night for 18 hours, and we're trying to hit a 10-minute window to have absolutely perfect barbecue in that 10-minute window. For the grilling, there's a lot of different ways we go about it, but generally it's myself and Ed that will take the lead on those categories. The way to win a barbecue competition is not necessarily winning a category. The way to win is to be consistent. So of the four categories, each one is consistently good, and that's how you win. We have to think about who we're cooking for, and we have to know your judges. And so today we knew that kind of a nacho style grilled shrimp would really work well because everybody loves nachos. So you have this, you know, ubiquitous plain box, and everybody's box looks the same from the outside. So what we want is it to pop. And does it just kind of give you an excitement? Do you see different levels? Do you see different colors? What you're focused on in a competition is really just that one bite. I'm getting one bite, one chance. That's it. You want them to go like, that is so good, I want more. Unfortunately, just because I like it doesn't mean the judges are gonna like it, but if I turn in stuff that's good and I feel good about it, then I'm happy. We did a good job today. We, we uh, very carefully evaluated everything. We sent in our best product, so we'll see what happens. And our reserve champion for the Summer Sizzler 2011, IQ. Yeah! The best part of the weekend is getting a trophy.